Alright, it's uh, G.I. Joe Day. So, I got some uh, new G.I. Joe figures that were released just <clears throat> recently from this little company called Reflection. They do um, retro stuff from the 80s and 90s. These are the first G.I. Joe figures I'm aware of. They're not made by Hasbro. And they don't have the best articulation. They only have five points. Basically, you got shoulders, head, and the two legs with a hip. They don't have knees that bend or elbows. <clears throat> but I figured um, these are unique. They never made a Quinn figure, as far as I know. He came out in G.I. Joe comic issue number two. And I believe he got killed in episode, issue number 18 or 19 by, I think it was Dr. Venom. And then Scarlet, um, she's been around since you know, forever. Um, but uh, here's the Baroness <coughs> and Cobra Commander. To me, all these kind of are unique in the sense that they never made a Meredith figure until 1984. And Cobra Commander was only available one way in 82, mail-in. You'd have five flag points, you mailed away, and you got them. And that's what I did way back in the day. Um, they did make a figure like this, a card figure in 83, because he had to. And then Quinn, as far as I recall, never ever had a figure. Now they might have done one for the 25th anniversary, but uh, we'll look at the back here. So this is where the cool stuff... For the collectors, man, they just hit the nail on the head. This is from uh, just a cartoon shot. Um, I kind of went back and forth on Snake Eye, should I get him? I only got four figures, so um, I might end up getting... There's actually... The, these guys were cartoon characters. They are making variants that are... Um, one is white, I think the other man was black, and there might be another variant, like a shirt difference. So, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But these were about $18 each. And another more, but I got lucky on eBay. Some guy was selling out of a, I think it was Oklahoma City or Kentucky. <clears throat> so, I think they'll be valuable. I'm not going to open them. But something kind of cool. And I just figured for all you collectors and just nerds in general, you might enjoy it. And, uh... That's it. I guess it's ended by saying Yo Joe.